Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, my cozy craft room. If you're new here, hello and welcome. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make these cute scalloped double-sided earrings. Um, I will leave the list and the links down below in the description box, so please don't forget to check that. So if you don't have a heat press, just use your regular iron and uh, for Teflon you can um, use a parchment paper, that will work as well. So here um, I just cut a piece of cardstock that is big enough to cover the whole earring die part. Um, I use this to minimize the waste so that I don't have a lot of, you know, um, scraps and that way I can get more earrings or bows, whatever it is that I'm making, um, more out of uh, one sheet. So um, I already pre-cut some bead-in bond pieces and I'm just matching it with the same um, size as my faux leather here. Oh, and make sure that you don't have an overlap, um, what do you call that, heat in bond because that will stick onto your mat and it's annoying to get it off. So here I'm just putting heat on it, um, not a whole lot. Just, you know, enough to make the um, hidden bond stick with the whole leather. Okay, so now I have my Sizzix Big Shot. And I have the earring die, and I'm just going to sandwich and cut my um, faux leather. Okay, so now it's time to put them together. Um, I'm just putting some heat onto my pieces with a heat and bond and then peel off that um, piece of paper. Just, you know, protecting the adhesive part. And then I'm going to carefully match um, both the front and the back pieces. And cross my fingers that I don't end up overlapping pieces because I still do that mistake from time to time. I used to like try and just you know um, cover the whole thing because I want it to be faster I guess 
but I ended up wasting a bunch of them because when I left the Teflon part, my pieces were crooked and they were overlapping. And trimming was not gonna fix it either. So yeah, just take your time. And be careful because it will be hot. Now I'm gonna put my hardware and basically just I'm gonna slide it in there um, and um, that's it it's all done although make sure that the hole is not bigger than the the ball on the end of that earring hook because if not then your faux leather piece would just fall off 